All right, hello everybody. Welcome back again. It's Carl. Today I'm going to talk about quickly as I move forward with my um, aquarium computer for Arduino about utilizing the Arduino IDE as well as utilizing tabs in that IDE. When I started with Arduino, I didn't quite understand the use of tabs and I always kind of struggled with the ID. And I, I remember um, about a year ago, I actually tried to get it to work and I just couldn't. So I had tried to find some videos here on YouTube that talked about utilizing tabs with no success. So if you don't know what a tab is, um, here in my Arduino folder, the far left tab is actually the main sketch body. This is where you have your libraries, you have your global uh, definitions, so your integers, constant integers, defines, etc. We have our uh, pen setup, so uh, what pen gets goes where, and then uh, under the setup folder we have our pen modes, our inputs and outputs, and then we have our loop. So this is actually the main function tab or main sketch tab. And this tab always has to have those three things, the global variables, the setup, and the loop. I also have an ATO tab, a dates tab, a feed tab, and et cetera, all the way to water change. So essentially think of those tabs as just getting added to the bottom of this compiled list of variables. So right here is my loop end, right here is my millis end. So once the compile compiles all this data, it just adds ATO, dates, feed, LCD, et cetera, just to the bottom. So you can add them to your, the bottom yourself. However, then you find yourself doing what I have to do, which is scroll. And you can see this is a pretty lengthy sketch. Um, this sketch is actually so big it won't fit on a Arduino Uno because of SRAM and it's actually too big for the flash base. So anyhow, um, I'm actually using a Arduino Mega for this. I have a couple port expanders for uh, LCDs. So I'm going to bring you to the Arduino IDE website on, under Arduino.cc hack in a build process and it talks about multi-file sketches. Sketch can contain multiple file tabs. To manage them, click on the right version arrow just above the scroll bar near the top of the environment. And that's this bar right here at the top. Um, they can have one of four extensions, no extension .c, .cpp, or .h. Um, if you give them a wrong extension, it's just going to convert it to an underscore. When your sketch is compiled, all tabs with no extension are connected to the bottom to form the main sketch file. So when your sketch is compiled, it just adds it to the main sketch file. Tab tabs with .c or .cpp are compiled separately. So that's important to remember. So just as I said, after this, the compile compiles all this data, so my definitions, my pen setup, my loop, it just adds these tabs to the bottom. So hopefully that was useful to you in um, making understanding tabs easier. If not, if you have some other comments, please put them down below. Let everybody know who's watching this video how to use tabs. And I just wanted to let you know how I'm using them in my program. Okay, well, thanks for watching.